This is the deadlift exercise. It's designed to help improve your lifting and it's great for building strength for your spine and your hips and through the legs as well. It's a stability exercise and there's lots of different ways to do it. The key with this exercise is all about the technique. So when you start, the best way to start is just to start with no load and just a simple stick. And you can gradually add load in different ways. I'll show you a couple of ways today. But the key thing is think about it in a nice flowing technique. We begin with the stick. So some simple principles. You want to have your feet a little wider than your hips. When we do this, there's movement from your hip joints and a little movement from your knee joints. You want to bend the knees aligned to your feet. You're conscious of that tail out action. And your spine is really important to know. So we don't want your spine to be flexed, but at the same time, you probably don't want to be really overarching the back and creating too much tension. You've got to try to find that midway balanced place where everything works well and efficiently. We try to do it keeping the hearts open and you're using your shoulders as well. So when you're using your shoulders, you're drawing the shoulder blades back, not up. So you don't want to hunch, but you are aware of using the shoulder blades to help stabilize. If you hold it, you're going to find a place where you feel best to hold. It's probably slightly wider than your hips, but you can explore that. Grip, but don't over strongly grip and get too fatigued. You don't have to hold really tight, you just have to hold tight enough to, to hold it in the right way. So, we gently bend forward from your hips, little bend in the knees, are you lowering the stick to the ground, and then press through the heels and straighten your backs and draw the shoulder blades back to bring the load in towards you. You want to keep the load nice and close. Not out here which puts a lot of stress on the body. So keep it close. So it's like it's just lifting straight up vertical. There's not much forward and back action with this. So using that strength and lift. Remember to breathe, nice to breathe out. Remember that spine should feel comfortable. Not flexing, not scrunching, overly extending. Chest is open, head's neutral, and using your shoulder blades to keep good control. So this is your basic deadlift technique. You can add some resistance. A band is a great way to start. You can get a band loop around a strong, sturdy stick. You put it between your feet, feet in that same place. You can hold a little part. Exactly the same technique. Push and lift up. Breathing out. Press through the heels. Strengthen and lift tall. Do you see how it's that straight vertical lift? Always checking that everything feels integrated and moving as one. No one area feels too much pressure. Press the heels, extend the hips, shoulders lightly back, lift tall, 
lower, tail slightly out as you bend the knees, leaning forward lightly. Gripping in the right way, arms are more or less straightish, but not locked back. So this is deadlift with the bend. The commerce way is said is with your weight. Exactly the same principles. Spines. You'll notice using the breathing, and as you get a little heavier with the weight, you just start to use your tummy core a little bit more so that that slight drawing it in helps you do it. That slight brace. Keep the core, the torso nice and stable. Keeping those shoulders strong back, not hunched. So this is some simple ways. You can also use dumbbells in exactly the same way to do the dark dead leg practice. So I hope you enjoyed this and until next time.